Look, Raygun was not competing at the caliber of the other B-girls at the Olympics. But here's the thing, she wasn't expecting to. Both Australian Olympians, Raygun and Jay Attack, knew they were underdogs, but they still went out and represented an underrepresented country. Were the 32 competitors at the Olympics the top 32 breakers in the world? No, that's not how any Olympic sport works. If it was, then every single Olympic gymnast would be from the USA, China, or Russia. Australia is not a competitive country on the international breaking circuit, but both Raygun and Jay Attack earned their spots in the Olympics by being the best in their country. Internet trolls have taken Raygun's performance out of context and tried to use it as an argument for why breaking is not physically demanding enough to be a sport. Now, first up, this activity, this dancing, it shouldn't be in the Olympics, should it? Did you, did you see any of the other competitors? Imagine saying, this is why gymnastics shouldn't be a sport, or diving, or skiing. Like, you don't have to watch any of these other battles, but if you don't, I feel like you're the only one missing out on something really cool. I have a different take on this whole situation, but in order to understand it, you need to know who Rachel Gunn is. She's a 36-year-old lecturer at Macquarie University in Australia. Unlike other established sports, breaking doesn't pay the bills or come with healthcare, so most breakers have full-time jobs. She has a PhD in cultural studies and researches dance and gender politics. But my bag always has two main things. It's like my knee pads and my laptop. I love that. <laughs> That's a good combo. More importantly, she's a teacher and an inspiration to a lot of young B-girls in a sport where female role models are really rare. Let me give you a take you probably haven't heard yet. I have a five-year-old niece who I love more than I'm willing to explain in a public video. There's gonna be a time in her life when someone makes fun of her for trying something new or for being a little different. Maybe it'll be because of her gender, for how she looks, or maybe there won't be any good reason at all. I don't know who you all saw at the Olympics, but I saw a woman in her mid-30s who works a full-time job because breaking doesn't pay the bills who got a once in a lifetime chance to follow her dreams and took it. She knew she was competing against athletes half her age from the most competitive countries in the world in a male dominated sport. And she knew that millions of people would probably see her lose. The bravery to be yourself, to chase your dreams and to try, especially when you know that you're the underdog. To me, that is the epitome of the kind of role model that I hope my niece can look up to someday. And look, Raygun doesn't need my support because for every mean-spirited post out there, there's someone like me who she's inspired. And it already looks like she's thriving.